Good morning, good afternoon, family. Uh, welcome to the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija. How y'all doing out there? Listen, I gotta make a couple corrections. Um, y'all know I get fired up when and, and, and hyped up when I think about um some of these cases that I've been a privy to in Milwaukee and Sometimes I just got to um, because I want to be as accurate as I possibly can. And I think there's one mistake I remember. Um, I want to make a correction. I, it's not a mistake. It's a correction. I said that Frank Jude and Lavelle did not leave the front door. In actuality, when they came in with the two women, the women went to the bathroom and they followed the women to the bathroom because that's who they came in with. And they were like, these people are feel, making me feel uncomfortable. Okay? So that is the reason that these guys did move from um, the space that they were in. And because they felt uncomfortable is the reason why they walked to the bathroom with the women that they came there with. Okay? So that's real important. Um, and I really hope that you guys go to Court TV and watch the case. Because can you imagine, this is the same stuff that Milwaukee Police Department is, is uh, really recognized for. For dismissing the witnesses. Now, these were two white women that kept calling the police on the police now. Can you imagine? Can you? Well, I just want to appeal to anybody's mindset, okay, as, nor as sane and rational. Can you imagine calling the police because you see something crazy or you see these guys beating up your friends or beating up, um, just acting completely out of control? You take your phone and you dial 911. And when the damn police come, they join in on the beatdown? Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that happening? So what happened was, I just want to reiterate, just like Brenda Cleveland, who called the police and kept saying, look, Dom, this is not a, a man out here. This is a, this is a boy. And my, and my nieces and my daughter, um, they, they've seen the guy out here before. He's a kid. He's not, uh, ma'am, it's a boyfriend and a boyfriend type of thing. This is how they do marginalized people and, 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 um, communities that they don't give a damn about. Okay, you're just all a bunch of darkies and whatever happens, happens. This is a scenario where two white women that brought the black guys to the party were actually there to sit there and witness white supremacy on deck. They were like, what the hell? We brought these two black guys to the party. These guys we met, we thought they were cool. Um, one of them was a DJ and blah, blah, blah. The other one was this. And we brought them to the party and they get the fuck beat out of them by these insane white off-duty officers. And then they call the police. And the police come and start kicking their ass too, putting their foot off in their ass. Luckily for Lavelle, he got the hell away. They said he ran. He, it, he was like a, a, a gazelle. Okay. He ran all the way from Bayview to the north side. He just was, he was just getting it, getting it, getting it. He got from over there. Okay, Frank Jew just wasn't so uh, fortunate. And what I'm going to do, because what I didn't do is I didn't complete the sentence when I said that we were so fired up. It was a bunch of us that went to the neighborhood. And I'm going to load up the footage of that because I still have it. After all these years, I wish I had uh, cameras were out and I had the camera of uh, Jeff Dahmer and what he uh, um, that building. I wish I could have took a camera to work with me every day then. But nevertheless, I don't want to digress. I do have some footage of us going to the neighborhood in Bayview over there on Ellen Street because all of these neighbors. I want you to hear me. This is a decent working middle class neighborhood. These people sat there in their windows because the party was like at 3 o'clock in the morning. They didn't complain about the noise. They didn't complain because they knew they were police officers. 
But what they did do, most of them hid behind their curtains when they watched Frank Jew get beat, get ink pens stuck through his ears and eyes and knives up his butthole. They watched all that, stripped off his clothes, naked here in the middle of the street, and none of them neighbors never called 911. Okay? Don't get it twisted. None of them didn't do a damn thing. That's why you got to let yourself be known. This is the time in the universe. Let me tell y'all something. This is the dawn. This is the age of Aquarius. This is the day of the unforgiving bullshit. When you know something is wrong and you're not willing to stand on it, the blood is on your hands. Because I had plenty of people coming up to me after this was uh, over with, and we all converged on their neighborhood. We prayed. We went to the exact spot that they beat the shit out of Frank Jude in. Okay? And we let them know that you what we're not scared to come over here. You if if we have to come over here like this, this how we we'll come over here. But you're not gonna be beating us down in the streets and shit like this, sticking stuff up our butts. And in the 21st century, are y'all crazy? Oh my god. And I had people come up to me and say, Yeah, um, I, I, I did see it out the window and um I just I just didn't know what to do it. We're not like that over here. Uh, we're we love all people and, and, and I'm looking, I'm like, yeah, mm hmm But none of you called the police. And that's the sad part. That's the sad part, man. I mean, you know, it's easy for you to say that now because we're all in your neighborhood. But none of y'all called the police on the police. You know, and so I wanted to make sure that I reiterated that. And I wanted to make sure I put that out there because what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up footage uh, from that time. And I think it's about maybe 20 minutes long or so. Uh, all of us going over to Bayview on Ellen Street where they beat the hell out of Frank Jude at and let it be known. Let it be known that um, there was going to be more charges against these officers and they weren't going to get away with what they did and that we, we we just was not accepting this kind of madness anymore. And for all of y'all who consider yourself American citizens and those of y'all who love truth and love justice, we standing right before you right now letting you know that we demanding it. We demanding it. And we're going to start in your neighborhood to let you know that we're not taking this. And I think it's very important. It was very important for us to leave that blueprint. So I wanted to make sure I, I, I left this out of the, out of the um, video. And I wanted to make sure I came back and make that correction. And I also want to load up some more footage. Please go to Court TV and watch... Um, Wisconsin versus Missouri was and uh, Spangler Bartlett because those were the officers and you can see the curse you can see the women testifying about how mad these police were acting that night and what they did to them and how they did it and how they didn't care that they were white women because they had no business being there with no black guys okay that was the consensus of the officers Okay, you here with these black dudes? Okay, so I'm going to shut up and let the truth stand up and kill all lies. Be blessed, y'all. I'll see you in the next video.